We're here at Disneyland. The holidays have just begun. It's almost Christmas, Janelle. It's almost Christmas. It's almost Christmas. So we're gonna try some of the new holiday foods that they have yes. here. This is gonna be the ultimate foodie guide at Disneyland. So I hope you guys are excited. So welcome to the wonderful world of food. Here we go. Would you take a look at that castle, Janelle? I saw it and I'm in love. There's a lot of food guys, so we're gonna go through the foods pretty quick because it's just so many. <laughs> <laughs> and we don't want this to be a two hour video, so let's have some fun. They got some beautiful Christmas music this year. Oh, look at that ah! Mickey Mouse holiday backpack. Look at that, guys. Beautiful. First, we're gonna go into the refreshment corner. <laughs> there it is, guys. The French dip sandwich. That's what we're here for. They also have these Jingle Bell ornament light up sippers. We're not here for that. We're here for this guy. So at the refreshment corner, you have the French dip sandwich. You have roasted beef, you have spicy mustard, and served with our juice sauce. And you also have a side of chips here and a French crunch roll. Here we go. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm gonna dip it in there. It's a French dip. It's a crunchy French roll. You have the tender roast beef and the mustard. Woo! That's a spicy mustard. So if you don't like mustard, you can always ask that on the side but I like it with my French dip. Oh my gosh, would I get this again? Absolutely. Are you kidding? Look at this. Mm -hmm. Now we're headed into the Jolly Holiday. <laughs> there it is. They always have some awesome, interesting snacks here at the Jolly Holiday. <laughs> so. That's what we're doing. Let's go. Oh, so we got the first treat at the Jolly Holiday. Look, it's a Christmas tree with two little Christmas presents. It's beautiful. I wonder what's inside. <laughs> So at the Jolly Holiday, you can get this guy right here. This is the Thankmas sandwich. And I think the reason why they call it a Thankmas sandwich is because it's right in between Thanksgiving and Christmas. So you have Thanksgiving, you have Christmas, you got the best of both worlds, the Thankmas <laughs> sandwich. And as you can see right here, we have a rustic bread, cranberry. We also have some turkey and some stuffing in there. And I believe there's also gravy. Let's try this out. bread is toasted, it's crispy, it is very rustic. And what I do like about the turkey, of course, is turkey can get a little dry, but this turkey is not dry. And it could be because of the cranberry. The cranberry is making it a little more moist. It's really soaked into the turkey. And the stuffing is good. I've tried stuffing here when they had their Thanksgiving dinner, and it's the same stuffing. It's um, kind of garlicky. I do like this, it's very good, and I would definitely get this again. It does have gravy also. One thing they messed up on though, is it was supposed to come with a butternut squash soup and they forgot to put it in. They put potato chips instead. So they kind of messed up there. They kind of fumbled the ball, but <laughs> I still liked it. And this is a lot of fun. And if you want to try it out, definitely check it out. The other sandwich though, the Chile Roja sandwich, that's still the sandwich to beat. That is still the sandwich to beat, Disney. All right, so last year I got this Mickey gingerbread cookie and I got it again this year because it's one of my favorites. Look how cute, and look. <laughs> I got it for that reason too, so let's try this little guy out. I already know I'm gonna like it. Mm. So it's a cinnamon-like cookie. It's very buttery, very chewy, and look how cute he is. 
You can't pass them. Cute for Instagram too. Jeez. <laughs> So up next, you have the holiday shortbread cookie and the holiday brownie. Look at that, guys. It's so pretty to eat, but I'm gonna do it anyway. First up, the cookie. So it's your regular shortbread cookie with some delicious frosting on top and some fun, colorful sprinkles. Up next is the brownie. Ooh, here we go. Ooh, oh my gosh. Sweet, creamy brownie with a delicious white chocolate mousse. This is so pretty. And look at the cute Christmas trees. Mmm, delicious white chocolate. <laughs> wow, it's gorgeous. Whew, it's still hot today. It's Christmas. We're going to the Red Rose Tavern, guys. I'm burning. You burning? I'm burning in this dress, but I I'm don't burning. dare to take it off. I like it. The Forbidden Beast burg oh. pastrami burger, actually. Ah, oh, it looks fancy. We gotta find a place to sit, but there's no place uh. to sit here at the Red Rose Tavern. Oh, no. <laughs> so now we have the Beast Forbidden Burger. We have uncured Wagyu pastrami. We also have an all beef patty, some spicy mustard aioli in this cute, awesome skewer here. Isn't that cool? Get that out of the way. Let's try that later. But for now, let's try that burger. Oh gosh. So unfortunately, this burger is not my favorite. It was a good effort though. Um, it was a bit too salty for me and I think I know why. I think it's because the of the pickles there and a little bit of the spicy aioli. Um, if it didn't have that, I felt like this would have been perfect, but it's not my favorite. Skip this and get something else. So we're in Tomorrowland now, and Janelle's been looking for this little ornament here, and they've been sold out everywhere, but guess what? They're right here in Tomorrowland next to the lemonade stand. We got lucky. Wow. Oh, they're gonna hear me coming. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, I my outfit's complete now. Oh. Thank, Thank you. you. Guys, so it's a sticky look. Yum. So we took a good two hour break to digest <laughs> all that food. You're still ready for more? I'm ready for more. All right, we're going to the Pizza Planet next. All right, so first, they have the bruschetta pizza, and that's what we're gonna grab. Mmm, this one. Is that the one? That's the one! All right. Okay, we got the macaron and the new parfait. They don't have my dark fried chocolate. They got Apparently, rid of the dark fried chocolate. they're sold out. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Alien Pizza Planet, guys. That's where we're at right now. The Alien Pizza Planet. And this is the bruschetta pizza. Let's try it out. Bruschetta. One thing they did right is they made it taste like bruschetta. It does have more flavor than your standard pepperoni pizza that they have here at Pizza Planet. But it's just, it's the crust. I think it's the crust, it's just not good. It is crumbly on top because it does have, as you can see, like crumbs, like little bread crumbs on top. Do have tomatoes, but I wouldn't get it again. It's just the Pizza Planet needs to change their dough or they need to change the pizza. It's okay, pass. <laughs> it's still Christmas. All right, so this little guy is called the Planet Alpha Broccoli Parfait. And look, the alien's pointing up to the sky. So cute, right? Anyway, it has a mint chocolate ganache, a cookies and cream streusel, and green cake. So cool. Will this beat the dark red chocolate? Let's find out. Whoa, guys, this tastes just like a mint chocolate chip ice cream. And I'm not joking. It legit tastes just like it, but in cake form. It's nice and sweet. Mmm. Oh my gosh. This must be my second favorite parfait. It's a dark red chocolate, but since they don't have that right now, this will have to do, and I'm not mad about it. I love it. <laughs> All right, we got this alien macaron here at the pizza port. 
and he is all dressed up for Christmas. Oh, <laughs> he breaks apart real easy. He's really crumbly. But let's try this guy out. Ah. Hmm. That is like overly sweet. <laughs> it's so sweet, guys. I can only have one of these and I call it quits. It's so sweet, but it does have a hint of lemon. I'm gonna take that home. Really good for the kids, but very, very, very sweet. So if you're into sweet stuff, you might like that. But for me, if it's too sweet, uh, gotta let it go. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with the sweet macaron, but I mean, that was a lot of sugar. Gets you hyper. <laughs> It'll get you really hyper, and I'm already hyper enough. So yeah, we're taking that macaron home. She put it in her backpack. In here. I'm gonna give that to my nephew. I'll let him handle that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's gonna be jumping for days. Oh yeah. Oh, no. I don't know why, I just love the way this roof looks, especially at night when you see like the LEDs come, well, not LEDs, they're just regular lights, but they shine through and look really cool. <laughs> halfway mark where I get a little bit tired but luckily the galactic girl has the coffee nova slush with crushed peppermint right on top and whipped cream look so pretty let's try the little baby out boom very fresh minty fresh it's like a mint peppermint mocha freeze oh my gosh I'm already feeling the I'm already awake. It's happening. Oh my god, it's happening. <laughs> She's hyperactive again. Okay, let's go. I'm ready. <laughs> Just kidding. So Janelle got her coffee, but I got an apple pie slush. Sounds interesting, but does it taste good? We're gonna find out. It's strange because it's like you're eating apple pie and it's supposed to taste like an apple pie slush. So what am I complaining about? I don't like it. <laughs> What's going on? Like, have you ever taken a bite of a, a green apple? You know how green apple is a little sour? Well, that's kind of like what this tastes like, but it has like the consistency of applesauce, and it's got little bits of apple, and it's tasting a little bit of cinnamon. It's it's not good. It's not good. Skip this one. This is probably the worst one. thing I've tried today. <laughs> apple pie slush. No thanks. <laughs> no, but you should get this one. Uh, you know, I haven't even tried it. Try it. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. Mm. Peppermint tea, mocha and peppermint together. See, this is good. This is not. <laughs> Looks like the apple pie slush made it on the naughty list. Ain't getting nothing for Christmas. So they're really serious about the parfaits this year. Look at this one. This is the Caramel Galactic Parfait. I think it has walnuts inside and caramel. Look at the pretty little decorations on top. Oh my gosh. Smells good too. This side. Ooh, it's kind of tough to get in there. So come to find out, these are actually pecans. So I said walnuts earlier, but they're actually pecans. The chocolate cake is nice and soft, but once you bite into that pecans, it, they kind of tend to dry out your mouth a little bit, including the, the cake. So sort of like the Darth Vader chocolate, but a little bit different. So I'll go ahead and skip this one and get the one from the Alien Pizza Planet. That one, you will not regret. <laughs> So this is a steakhouse burger here at the Galactic Grill. And as you can see, it doesn't really look all too fancy. Looks can be deceiving. This might be delicious. We'll find out right now. Mm. So we have an Angus patty, sweet bacon. We have onion strings and provolone cheese. I just described to you the double Western bacon cheeseburger at Carl's Jr. <laughs> Guys, I, I mean, Disney, come on. We need to have a little more flair. This is good, but I can go to Carl's Jr. for this. And if you're not from around here, you probably have Hardee's, the double Western bacon cheeseburger. This is what this is. And for the price that it's at, there are other locations inside this park that has hamburgers that are a thousand times better. Check out the Lamplight Grill 
you'd be surprised how amazing those burgers are. But yeah, skip this one. There's still more foods to go. So let's hope we find something delicious because so far I've had three duds. We need to find something good now. Here we go, guys. We're in New Orleans Square now. We made reservations to the Cafe Orleans. You said they have something really amazing yes. there. I don't know what's there. <laughs> Janelle does. I do. We have to wait and find out. Here we go. All right, now we're in Cafe Orleans. Ooh, they're gonna sit us down somewhere nice. So we're waiting on these beignets and hopefully this time we get something good. <laughs> I'm pretty sure beignets are gonna be delicious. I mean, you can't mess up beignets, especially here at Disneyland. That's like a staple. And they're hot chocolate beignets too. Ooh. All right, look at this delicious treat we just got. This is the hot chocolate beignets with hot chocolate sauce and whipped cream with some cute little sprinkles on top. And I think right on top of the beignets are hot cocoa powder. There's only one way to find out and that's just to try it out. <laughs> oh my. You're so silly. So this does taste like hot chocolate, but I forgot to do one thing, and that's to pour the hot chocolate sauce. Here we go. Ooh. Wow. So sweet, but yet creamy, delicious, and soft and buttery. Mmm. I'm gonna pour some hot chocolate sauce right on top of the beignets. I'm gonna drench it all. Delicious. Mmm. Oh. Finally, something amazing. There's definitely something to share too, because I'm, well, maybe I can eat it myself, but Big B is right in front of me. You're sharing. And Janelle's definitely going to share this today. <laughs> Listen, I guess I'm nice during the holidays, I guess. All right. <laughs> All right, so here we're gonna get the cranberry julep, the candy cane beignets, and this looks fun, so we'll add that inside the cranberry julep, why not? So we got our cranberry julep, and we have some beignets with chocolate dipping yes. house. Guys, they're back, the candy cane beignets. Here, let me show you inside how it looks. Plain old beignets, but once you shake them up, get that whole dance going. <laughs> Look how nice and coated they are. Ah, here we go. My mouth is watering for this one again. Here we go. Mm. It's, like, it's like tasting a sweet, soft candy cane. It's so delicious. But you pay a dollar extra, you get yourself a nice chocolate dipping sauce. So I'm gonna dip that in there. So now it's a chocolate coated candy cane beignet. Oh, delicious. So they have the mint julep, they had the watermelon julep, and now we have the cranberry julep. And right up top, right there, I have my Mickey Mouse ornament glow cube. Let's try this out. Okay, so just like the watermelon julep, the watermelon is very subtle. This is cranberry julep. So the cranberry julep is good, it's sweet, but the cranberry is also very subtle. I do like this, it's refreshing, and especially for the holidays. It's all about cranberry, right? I mean, Thanksgiving, you got your cranberry on the side. So now you got a cranberry julep on the side of your dish. Tasty, delicious, and refreshing. <laughs> Guys, take a look at this awesome popcorn. It's like a popcorn bucket Christmas tree, right? Yeah, yeah. Does the top open up? Oh, wow. That's insane, really cool. 
They also got an ornament. Everyone's Christmas out and everyone's having a great time. So we decided to go to the Golden Horseshoe during golden hour. Yes. It's the best time to come to the Golden Horseshoe. Oh, I'm supposed to know I'm coming. <laughs> it's lit up. You can see it now. And that's not the only thing that lights up, yeah. you know? Let me show them. I didn't even know this thing lit up. Whoa! <laughs> that's really cool. It's different colors too, but I like the green on this one. Yeah. There's the Christmas tree right there. And look at those wreaths. Look at these cool holiday ice cream sandwiches. Now inside you have your pecan praline ice cream with some amazing sprinkles. It is a sandwich, so I'm gonna eat it like a sandwich. Ooh, I've got this little guy here. Ah, some nice caramel on there. Here we go. Ooh, this looks so good. It's a nice soft praline ice cream. You definitely get that crunch of the um, uh, pecans in there. It's a nice and soft sandwich. I love this. And look, and there's another one for Make B too, but he's not having this one. This is all for me. Hey! And a very pleasant evening to one and all from the Happy Holidays! Rancho de Zocalo. Oh yeah. <laughs> Chicken mole and caldo de pollo. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Look at that. Mmm. It's delicious. It's huge. Next step. All right. Thank you. There's a the caldo de pollo. She found the tree. Very hot. Watch yourself, you know. So if you're sick. This is right here. <laughs> <laughs> and here at the Rancho de Zocalo, you can get yourself a champurrado with little churro bites. It's yes. insane. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, so nice. Thank you. All right. Mm. We got our food. Ah! Oh, you can smell all the herbs and spices. Ooh. But everyone knows that you have to have your caldo de pollo with a little bit of lime. Squeeze that in there. Here we go. I'm in love. Okay. I can smell it from here. Do and it smell smells it? really good, yeah. You have the nice, juicy, tender chicken pieces. You have the crunchiness of the onion, the veggies. You also have this big piece of corn. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Here, taste test. It tastes like homemade, like something my mom would make when I'm sick. <laughs> or when it's cold during the holidays, it's so perfect. You taste all the good spices, like the herbs and the cilantro. Oh my gosh, you want to try it, McVee? Oh, I do. Mm -hmm. I definitely do. 
let's see. He's got a lot of a lot of chicken. I'm surprised the, the chicken pieces are really big. And I do taste that flavorful onion. Wow, this is great. You know, you're right. Definitely on something you guys should try. Come and get the caldo de pollo, especially on a on a cool Christmas night. Woo! That's gonna take care of you. That is good. Here, I'll give it to you, Janelle. I need to try my chicken mole. <laughs> so at the Rancho de Zocalo, you can get yourself this chicken mole, and it comes with rice and beans. I forgot a knife, so we're gonna have to use the fork method. Oh, that's pretty tender. Okay. Here we go. Let's put some mole on there. Here we go. It's not bad, but it's not homemade. And uh, obviously, we're here at Disneyland, but it is pretty good. The only thing is that this mole is a little spicy. Not far away from the real thing, but I feel like I think they're trying to go with the poblano type mole, and uh, it, it's more chocolate based. So for me, this doesn't really taste that authentic, but it is good. So I do like that. And then of course you get beans and rice. So you're gonna get full and you're gonna enjoy your meal because this isn't bad. It is good. It's just not the real thing. <laughs> if that makes any sense. And they also got chapurrado here and they got churro bites. So when we were walking inside the kitchen, I could, I could actually smell the chapurrado in the air and here it is. It's kind of like a, a hot chocolate but it's made of like masa, kind of like a flour. And uh, sometimes it's made with corn. I'm gonna try this out and see if it's any good. Ooh, that's hot. <laughs> Guys, this is pretty good. Wow, the champurado is actually pretty good. And you get your churro bite, so maybe I can dip it in here. There you go. Mm. I love hot chocolate, but nothing beats a champurado, guys. I'm telling you right now, if you're by Ranch de Zocalo, come and get one and try it out if you've never had it before, and let me know what you think. <laughs> There are so many foods, you know. So many foods here at Disneyland. We're almost more than halfway done through this list. Of the way through. Yeah. <laughs> I think we deserve a certificate. We do. A Disney certificate. Our tummies deserve like a huge certificate for right? all the foodie guides we've done. You gotta have high five. You know, they give you like a foodie oh, guide that you can bring here. Oh, sorry. Oh. All right, now we're at the Royal Street Veranda, guys. There's so much food here at Disneyland. Like when I said that, I wasn't joking. There's a lot of food. Yes, there is. And we're almost done. But right now we're here at the Royal Street, uh, Street Veranda. <laughs> That's all that food, it's getting to me. It's and it's awesome. getting late. We've been here since 8 a.m. So. I've been up since 5 a.m. Tired. <laughs> oh, no. But we can do this. Mm. Ooh. Ooh, it smells good too. Okay, let's try them out. <laughs> the blue love crab fritters look at this with some cocktail sauce and some herbs and spices oh my mouth is watering this smells pretty good and I love crab I'm gonna dig it into the cocktail sauce love this kind of like a like a jalapeno popper but without the pop without the jalapeno kind of like a cheese popper I'm gonna dip it again on the cocktail sauce because because that's some good cocktail sauce usually cocktail sauce can tend to be a little bit too on like the ketchup or like tomato side but this one you can taste all the herbs and spices Ooh, it's delicious it's amazing Ooh, that's spooky the smothered beef we're getting the smothered beef mm, yes we are all right I hope it looks like that when I get it. <laughs> yeah, I hope so too. <laughs> All right, there's Thank some other beef. All right, let's try that out. Thank you. A little sad. That's that's a little sad. <laughs> that's a little sad. <laughs> All right, so right here I got the smothered beef, corn and mashed potatoes with gravy. Let's try this out. Ooh, so that's very tender. The potatoes, they're just gonna be potatoes, mashed potatoes and gravy. And you got your corn here. 
That is very tender meat, and it just melts in your mouth. And I, I just have to say, I would get it again. This is delicious. The portions are a little small though, but maybe that's just because it's so good and they know it. <laughs> but I love it, guys. Check it out here at the, uh, the French market. So at the Bengal Barbecue, they have this yellow curry tofu dish. And uh, that sounds pretty interesting. Let's check it out, right? Yes. <laughs> oh, that is fancy looking. Wow, great presentation. <laughs> Thank you. This, in the Bengal Barbecue, they have a yellow curry rice plate with jasmine rice. They have the Outback uh, skewer, veggie skewer, some marinated tofu, and some citrus miso slaw. Look at that. That's a, that's a good portion. For $16.99, that's an amazing portion. Here we go. I forgot a knife again. Ooh. Try some of the tofu, a little bit of the jasmine rice. Ooh. Tofu is delightful and smoky. It melts right in your mouth. You have the bold taste of the curry with the jasmine rice. Very nice in texture. And you also have this skewer. Look at this massive skewer. And you know me. If you've seen previous videos, you know for a fact I love lime in my skewer, especially the veggie ones. Ooh. Mmm. It's like nice and smoky. Mmm. Making my mouth drool. <laughs> Delicious. I love this. So we're on Main Street waiting for the fireworks. It's starting to get a little chilly now. And I love it because now it actually feels like Christmas. And that's what it's all about here at Disneyland. holiday ice cream with my cool ornament mug. Look how pretty. Mm, it smells like, it smells very peppermint. And this is how you end the night right, my friends. Mm -hmm. We just saw the fireworks. And now we're going to end it with a peppermint ice cream in an ornament mug. <laughs> you may do the honors, Janelle. I'm going to do the honors. Ooh, I've got a little bit of everything. Beautiful. I had a great time, Janelle. What about you? An amazing, magical time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I love this. It's nice and it's like a candy cane. Well, it's candy cane ice cream, basically. We had this last year and we really enjoyed it. We thought it was really good. I love it. It's sweet and creamy. The nice, crunchy um, peppermint, crushed peppermint on top. And the hot fudge sundae. You can't go wrong with hot fudge. Not bad at all. All right, guys, we had a fantastic time here at Disneyland during the holidays. Now, a lot of people are gonna ask, like, what happened to the churros? <laughs> well, the churros are gonna get their own videos because there's just so many churros, guys. And not only that, Disney's California Adventure is gonna have its own foodie guide, yes. and we're gonna check out the festival holiday. So we are excited. <laughs> this was the ultimate foodie guide for Disneyland. Yay. I hope you guys liked it. <laughs> and if you guys want to see more videos, we're like half asleep here. <laughs> Be sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. It does take a lot of hard work to be here early in the morning. Do this. Stay here till the park closes. And our tummies hate us right now. But I know. 
We just want to say we love every single one of you guys. And if you guys haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? We'd love to hear you in the comments. And we just want to say we'll see you guys here next time on the wonderful world of food. Bye.